So uh, if we look at uh, cannabis and cancer, uh, it's quite interesting that one would think that smoking cannabis, like smoking cigarettes, would lead to lung cancer. But we know from decades of research that cannabis smoke doesn't seem to cause lung cancer, and we're unclear about why this is. But some people think that it might be the nicotine in cigarette smoke that paralyzes all the little fibers in the lung that help bring up all the goo from the lung, so it just stays down there, as opposed to cannabis, where people just cough up whatever's under. There's a small rise in the risk of testicular cancer with those who use cannabis, but outside of that, cancer is not really an issue with the use of cannabis. In comparison, alcohol is a very strong known carcinogen. And while we have very large warning labels on THC-containing packages now, we have very limited warnings about alcohol and its carcinogenicity. Um, several years ago, the government in the Yukon tried to put warning labels on bottles of alcohol about the cancer risk and was unable to because of protestations from the alcohol lobby. So from a recreational standpoint, cannabis is certainly a much safer choice than alcohol is. Um, and part of the problem is that we're not allowed to advertise cannabis recreationally to people where we are still allowed to advertise alcohol recreationally to people. And the public health good will come from more people using cannabis and less people using alcohol. So at some point we need to deal with these marketing restrictions and ultimately really tighten up on what's being allowed with alcohol as it is a much more dangerous drug. As a side note, the use of cannabis has also been associated with decreased liver damage from alcohol. And it's also associated with decreased progression from cirrhosis to liver cancer in those who use alcohol. So cannabis seems to be protective against some of the noxious effects of alcohol in the liver.